Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at Find Scanner for your iPhone and iPad. Now, once you open this up, it's going to actually launch your camera and allow you to scan in some documents. Now, this can be useful for books, operating manuals, even images, anything like that that you're going to want to scan. So what I have right here is this document that I'm going to place in front of my iPad that I'd like to scan in a few different pages. Now, being that this is a document, what I'm actually going to do is turn on this actual scanner here. I'm going to tap the A button there. Notice it creates a blue outline box over the document. Once it's actually got a good read on the document, it's going to take a picture. And once I'm ready to, I'm going to go and flip this over to the back. And it's going to go ahead and scan the back of the document as well. Now, this is an operating manual for one of my other devices here that I have that I'm scanning in. And what I can do now is once I'm done scanning that, I can go ahead and tap next. That's going to bring me to the next area where I can actually crop, rotate, and flip the images. Being that I scan this one into the side, I can actually rotate this image in. Same thing with this one. We'll go and rotate that. And then I'll rotate this one as well. Notice now they're all rotated. I can even come in here and apply filters to them all. Do I want to see the original document? Do I want to do a black and white, a grayscale, or even a color option? I can choose to apply to all. I'll tap that. I've applied the same filter to all of them. And I can either cancel, which is going to bring me back out to the actual camera, or if I hit these X over here on the right-hand side of the screen, it's going to delete all the images I just took and allow me to scan in a new document. So I'll just go ahead and keep this document here that I have everything set up for and I'll tap next and it's going to process and get ready to save all these images into an actual file for me. Now that I have my document ready, I can give it a name. I can choose my page format. Notice I have a few different page formats here. I can tag it and I can even put it into a category. So I'm going to this one. I'm going to leave this one at personal. And I'm going to rename this. Let's go ahead and rename this um, RC boat manual. And then I'll go ahead and tap done. And now we'll go ahead and save it. I can choose to recognize it so it can recognize any text that's on the actual images I just scanned in and do an OCR so I can view the actual text instead of the image. I can send this to my email to a cloud service such as Dropbox or Google Drive or Box. I can open another app, print it, and even save it to my camera roll. I'm just going to go ahead and save it for now. You notice here on the left hand side of the screen, I have my file scanner documents. So I've scanned a few different things already, and if I tap on them, you can see them over here on the right-hand side of the screen. Some of them are actually books, some of them are magazine ads, and some of them are even magazine articles. Now I scanned in the same manual earlier, and I've done the whole manual itself, so I can keep swiping through, and I see the entire manual. I can even double tap on an image and zoom in and see the actual full-size image. Now what's really neat is if I tap on the text button down here in the bottom of the middle of the screen, Notice that some of this text has been replaced. It's actually done in OCR, and it's done a pretty good job for the most part actually getting text instead of showing me the image. So if I were to just tap on that image by itself, we'll say this page for example, notice how the page itself looks like I've actually taken a picture of this page. But if I tap on the text button in the bottom of the screen, and I come to that same exact page, notice that the text looks very different. It looks like it's actually meant to be there instead of an image. That's what the OCR is doing. It does a really good job for the most part. I can actually tap on the document properties. Here I can actually again edit the name, the format, add any more tags, and even change the category. Now this document, I've already scanned all the pages in, but let's say I missed a page. I can tap the plus button here and I can add in a page, which will allow me to open up the camera and scan in more pages. I can tap edit in the top right hand corner to rearrange all of these pages down here. So maybe this page here actually goes back one. I can do that. I can even rearrange the books over here to drag and drop and create new documents. I'll just go ahead and tap done to save all my changes. There is one other really cool thing that Find Scanner can do, and that's how it handles the scanning of books. So I'm going to go and open up the camera and scan in a book and show you how that's done. So tap on the camera, and instead of on the right hand side, you see how doc is in yellow. If I tap on book, you're going to notice an overlay on the screen. I now have this black dotted line, and I have book bottom and book top in the camera. So now that I've got that image, we'll tap next. It's going to go and scan to the book server. Now that I've done that, you'll notice here it's actually cropped each page, and it's showing me each individual page with all the text and all my options. 
And I can even come in here and apply all my same filters that we saw earlier. Once I'm ready, tap done. We'll tap next and it's gonna process and then I can go ahead and add it into all my document properties. We'll tap done. I'll go ahead and recognize this so I can get the text OCR to go ahead and go on. Notice I can choose my language formats, also document formats. So you have a bunch of different documents you can choose from. Now that I've done all that, we'll tap done. It's gonna upload my file to Find Scanner so it can actually recognize the text and then once it's done, it'll save that new document into my actual archive that I can come back and view all of the OCR text later on. So now that it's done uploading, it's brought me back into my archive. It saved that latest document in the very top of my archive and that little indicator is letting me know that it's currently uploading for all the OCR text and it'll show me that once it's ready to go. So once again, this application is called Find Scanner. If you like it, pick it up in the App Store for your iPhone and iPad.